Welcome everyone. I promised more sewing tutorials and the day has come. Today I want to show you how to sew a flat cap, but not one of these, uh, which is your like common type. This is a pattern uh, from the sewing book I just released with Sebastian Hofs. No, I want to try something new. Um, I want to try something similar to the student caps in Germany, which are called Tellermütze or Bonner Teller. Um, Tellermütze literally, literally translates to plate cap, so for the pattern construction we will actually use a plate. Um, so this is basically a barret with a peak. Stay with me. So with this flat cap, I want to recreate this floppy vintage style uh, you know, for example, from the Duke of Windsor, even though the construction is probably not period correct. So first, let's go over the materials. This is some thick dark brown wool I got uh, for, the, for the cap itself. This is some brown mohair for the lining. This is some leather. It's also brown, but doesn't matter because um, I will make the peak out of this. Um, then I have some linen band for the sweatband um, inside the hat, uh, the cap, I mean, the rest you will see during the process.
Great, now we have the inlay for the peak, uh, the fabric for the peak. We have um, the, the side part for the lining and for the outer fabric. And we have the main part of the cap from the main fabric and from the lining. Now it's time for the sewing part. Something in between, don't forget to iron all of your seams. It's really important, trust me. Ah, and another thing, um, if the seam is at a difficult position to iron it on a uh, usual ironing board, uh, you can also use uh, sleeve ironing boards. And of course, if you have nothing <laughs> except, the, um, uh, if, except the iron, you can also use towels, especially the, the small ones to like get to all the places that are difficult to reach when ironing your seams. Now let's have a look at just the, t the top part of the, of the cap. As I said, basically a barret with a peak and the peak is missing, so I'm feeling like Frère Jacques, Frère Jacques, dormez-vous, dormez-vous. Well, could have been worse. Now finally we have the peak of the cap, including the, uh, the leather I put inside. Um, we have the top part of the cap, um, 
with the um, interlining out of horsehair. I also already folded the um, the ending here, and uh, it's holding together with a um, with the besting thread, besting thread. And this is basically the inside uh, constructed like this, just out of the mohair lining, and um, it's it doesn't need to be turned. And I put uh, the um, the linen sweatband onto this one. So basically, what we will do now is. We will add the peak of the cap to the upper part of the cap and then put the lining inside the cap and sew around to uh, fix the lining in there. I highly recommend doing these last two steps by hand because it's really difficult to uh, get, get it right with a, with a machine but hand sewing is well time consuming but also very nice and sometimes feels a bit like meditation. Okay, let's go! And now, finally, let's have a look at it in action. Okay, so I'm quite satisfied with the result in the end, but I have to admit I cheated a bit. So um, the, the first try was a bit too large for my taste, so I made it a bit smaller and I added a few stitches here in the front to um, keep the, the top of the hat to the peak of the cap. Okay, thanks for watching and um, hope to see you soon. <laughs>